the uh, human footprint on this planet is absolutely enormous now. It's bigger than, than almost any of us can imagine. And there are very few places where nature is happy. When you think about it, though, when we develop living spaces for ourselves that don't support life, that could be a clear signal that our own life support systems are either in trouble now or will be shortly. To try to think of the plants and the animals around you as the rivets that hold your lives together, that hold your ecosystems together, that hold your environment together. Don't think about it as the environment, as if it's something separate that you can do without. It's not. And don't, please don't forget that that is what sustains you. We need to keep plants around because plants clean our water, a very important ecosystem service. Plants build our topsoil and they hold it in place, keep it from eroding away. Plants prevent floods, something that we might want to think about. Uh, as a matter of fact, plants, very complex uh, plant communities, moderate weather systems all over the planet. You don't have events that look like that when you have diverse ecosystems that are intact. It's other species that recycle our garbage, that pollinate those plants. 80% of our plants are pollinated by animals, not by the wind. Somebody once said that gardening is a way of showing that you believe in tomorrow. And I think that's never been more true than right now. Because the way we garden today, the way we landscape today, is going to determine what life looks like tomorrow. Thank you very much.